Okay. It's time for council initiated discussion. Veterans of the council know this uh, part of an open session meeting quite well. Uh, we've given you a full agenda and there's more to do uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, but we also want to give you an opportunity to play open mic. And um, this is a good time for you to ask for reports on uh, some of our grant programs or activities going on at NIH. It's also a good time for you to bring to our attention any concerns you're hearing um, in, in the community. You are representative, you're advising us, but you're also representatives of the research community. And if you're hearing about problems or crises that we need to be apprised of, it's a good time to bring it up. So what would you like to hear about? We could start with that. Sharon. Well, I thought the discussion a few minutes ago about what type of LC research is going on across NIH was an interesting one. I don't know that all the institutes use the term LC, um, but whether it might be worth at least hearing about if there's some major efforts addressing overlapping issues or policy issues okay. um, at other institutes. Because when we review or when we hear about the grants, we're normally thinking about the NHGRI program and not necessarily thinking about it in the context of NIH and where there might be other work going on. So would you like us to pull together some kind of report or could we ask our LC program directors to invite people from other institutes to give presentations, which that might get a little bit long-winded. That, that might get long. And we'd have to I, I, I think I would defer to them as to the best okay. way to present, but I think it would be a good topic. Okay. Go ahead, Rafa. So I, I hear concerns about the, um, the way, their lack of guidelines for effort reporting. For what reporting? Effort reporting. Oh, OK. And I, I, I think the general topic of foreign influence and NIH um, oversight of some of these things and many of the things that are in the news. And, and we, we certainly have been offered um, appropriate people will come to council meetings huh, and okay. talk to council members. So we can certainly do that. I thought a, a while back we had a discussion about having um, possible speakers about collaborating with foreign entities, particularly China and so on. Um, maybe I've missed something in the interim. Well, we, we, it might be the same general topic okay. we just heard about. If, if you're talking about the recent concerns about that. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. So are you looking for guidelines to adhere to or a report about the scope of the problem? Uh, guidelines, I think, okay. more in, in my mind. Okay, we can do that. All right, that's a short list. We're happy with that. All right, I think we're in the home stretch here. So I'm now going to read the uh, conflict of interest statement to you. This is what you've been waiting for all day long. This applies to the uh, applications that you will review in closed session later today and uh, tomorrow. And there is a document. I can see Pat's pulling it out now. Thank you very much. There's a document in the folder that you need to sign. Uh, attesting to your uh, that you've identified conflicts. So please do that and leave just leave it on the desk. We'll collect it later. So um, you must leave the meeting room when applications submitted by your own organization are being individually discussed. In the case of state higher education or other systems with multiple campuses that are geographically separated, own organization 
is intended to mean the entire system, except where a determination has been previously made that the components are separate organizations for the purpose of determining conflict of interest. You should avoid situations that could give rise to charges of conflict of interest, whether they are real or apparent. For example, you should not participate in the deliberations and actions on any application from or involving your spouse, child, recent student, recent teacher, professional collaborator with whom you have worked closely, a close personal friend, or a scientist with whom you have had longstanding scientific or personal differences. The NHGRI staff will determine the appropriate action based on recency, frequency, and strength of such associations or interests, either positive or negative, and will instruct you accordingly. In council actions in which you vote on a block of applications without discussing any individual one, the so-called on-block action, your vote will not apply to any application from any institution fulfilling the criteria noted above. Please sign the conflict of interest and disposal of the confidential materials forms which are provided and leave them at your place. They'll be collected at the end of the meeting. And get ready with that gavel because we're now done with the open session. We're going to take about a 15 minute break and then re reassemble for uh, the closed session. Okay.